What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick video, but I saw this question a little while ago on one of my Facebook pages and it was asking a couple um, of good study resources from nursing school and I instantly thought of a couple that I personally use and I thought I'd make a video sharing those with you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump on into the video. So, my biggest piece of advice when starting nursing school as for study resources is to buy a NCLEX review. A big old book that looks like this. This is one I have, it's from Saunders. I got this when I was in my first semester of nursing school because somebody recommended it to me. And my advice would be to get this when you first start nursing school and use it throughout each semester. So whenever you go through or go over a topic, come into your NCLEX book. Um, this is also a really good study tool. This is what I use to study. So uh, for example, if we went over, let me find a topic that I've been over. So cardiovascular. So if we went over cardiac, um, in class that day, I would come home, go into my NCLEX book, and look at all the notes that they have in the book for cardio. And then at the end of each chapter, there are practice questions that are really actually very helpful. So these two full pages are just full of questions. And then at the end, there is answers but not just answers there's um, rationales for each answer so you're not just getting the answer you're getting the why why is that the answer if it doesn't make sense to you you read the rationale if that is what's going to help you learn and understand why that would be my number one piece of advice for you guys is to get a Saunders or not even Saunders they have a whole bunch of other books out there this is just the one that I bought and it has been very helpful I mean they have fundamentals in here they have maternity pediatrics sorry, <laughs> and um, everything for med surge it has everything you need so if you're going over this while you're in school chances are you'll probably do more well on your actual NCLEX since you've been preparing for it the whole time you've been in school. So that's my number one piece of advice. Get an NCLEX prep book and just review it as you're going through school. Okay, this is for when you guys get to med surge. Um, my mom actually wrote this for me, but it has been very helpful. It's called A Clinical Companion for Medical Surgical Nursing. It looks like this. Whoa! <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> and it basically just has. Okay, perfect. It just has um, your disease processes in here. So, for example, I, just, I turned right to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and it'll give you a description of the of the disease and then the pages to follow give you how it happens, the pathophysiology, the clinical manifestations, complications, diagnostic studies, and um, nursing management. So literally everything you need to know about COPD is in this little book and I would bring this, um, or you can bring this to clinical with you if you have a patient that has renal failure or um, if they had a stroke, you can look at this and get an idea of what tests they, they're going to be running, what care you're going to be providing as the nurse, and it's just a really helpful study tool as well for when you're going through med surge. And um, if you're learning about heart failure, you can come in here and maybe learn something that your teacher didn't go over or just kind of get, it gives you just a quick rundown of literally everything you need to know. So when you're going through your huge, enormous med surge book that's giving you everything that you need to know plus more, this little book gives you everything you need to know. 
which I think is extremely helpful. So I used this my both of my med surge semesters. We have two of them at my school and it has been very, very helpful for me. I would highly recommend getting one of these or um, they have study books for almost every single semester that you're going to be in. I know they have one for maternity, they have one for pediatrics, they have one for fundamentals, I mean anything. Even if you get, um, I know I bought on my Kindle, it's a, uh, I don't remember what it was called. If I can find it, I'll put it down in the description box, but it was a study um, book for med surge nursing. Oh, it's going to bother me that I can't remember what it's called, but if I, I'll, I'll find it and I'll remember what it is. I just have to look on my Kindle and I'll put it in the description box. But they have so many books you can get and they're all on Amazon. So all you need to do, it's not, um, oh, it's like Med Surge Demystified or something like that. They have a lot of those, like Pharmacology de Demystified, Fundamentals Demystified. And it's instead of like those books that are like math for dummies, it's Demystified. I remember. So those books are very, very helpful as well. Also, I find Pinterest very, very helpful when, especially during med surge, every single topic that we went over, if it was heart failure or um, hyperthyroid, hypothyroidism, I would just type those in Pinterest and they would come up with these um, pages of like cartoons and um, like just illustrations to make it easier. If you're a visual learner, it's easier to look at it and it it's usually a person and it shows you every symptom that you could have if you had hyperthyroidism. So it's just a quick, easy study tool that you could put in your notes and it's so it's on all on one page. You can look and when you're taking your exam, I always would remember and picture that person in my head and remember, okay, what did they look like? They were sweating, they were skinny, they were this, they were that. So if you, it's a, I just personally think it's a huge and very helpful study tool that I still use to this day. So I think that wraps up this video, guys. I just wanted to make this quick video of the things that I use and, I, and that I find helpful, but I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you guys have any video recommendations, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.